In problem number 14, we're looking for the derivative of the function f of x equals 3x plus 2, and that derivative is a function that will give me the slope of the tangent line at any point along that curve. Since this is a straight line, and it has a constant slope of 3 everywhere along the line, the result should come out to be 3. Well, let's see if that works. So we're looking for f prime of x, and that is the limit as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. We want to plug in x plus delta x wherever we see x in the original function. So we have limit delta x approaches 0 of 3 times x plus delta x plus 2, then minus the function f of x, which is 3x plus 2. I should put that in parentheses so that I don't mess up the signs. That's all over delta x. So here all I need to do is to expand everything out, apply the negative signs. And I get the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 3x plus 3 delta x, distributing the 3, plus 2. Then I distribute the negative 1, negative 3x minus 2. And from this, again, we simplify. Anything that doesn't have a delta x should go away. 3x, negative 3x, positive 2, negative 2. And that simply leaves me 3 delta x over delta x. Limit as delta x approaches 0. The delta x is cancel. And that leaves just 3. And 3 is the slope of the tangent line to the curve 3x plus 2 at every x value along that curve. We'll go on to the next one. And here we have f of x is equal to 8 minus 1 fifth x. Again, it's a straight line. We're expecting that our result is going to come out to be negative 1 fifth. f prime of x is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x and all over delta x. We're going to plug in x plus delta x wherever we see x in the original function. Sorry, I need the limit as delta x approaches 0. And we'll start off again. Limit as delta x approaches 0 of 8 minus 1 fifth x plus delta x minus the whole function in parentheses 8 minus 1 fifth x. And that's all over delta x. And all we need to do now is to expand this out to distribute and apply the negative sign to the right. We have the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 8 minus 1 fifth x minus 1 fifth delta x minus 8 then plus 1 fifth x and all over delta x. If we did this correct everything anything that doesn't have a delta x should go away. We have 8 and negative 8. We have negative 1 fifth x and positive 1 fifth x and that leaves just negative one-fifth delta x over delta x and you end up with delta x is canceling leaving just negative one-fifth as we expected in the first place. Okay, I'll go on to the next. And so here we have f of x is 2 minus x squared and we're looking for the derivative of that function which will give us the slope of the tangent to that curve at every value x along the curve limit as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. Now we want to substitute x plus delta x wherever we see x in the original function of the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 2 minus the quantity x plus delta x squared minus the quantity 2 minus x squared and all over delta x limit as delta x approaches 0. We're going to expand out the x plus delta x squared. I'll still leave it in parentheses because of the negative sign on the outside. So we have 2 minus x squared plus x times delta x doubled is 2x delta x plus delta x squared then minus 2 plus delta x plus x squared, sorry, and all over delta x. I missed a parenthesis there. That should catch it. Limit as delta x approaches 0. And I apply the negative to all of the terms inside. And now anything without a delta x should disappear to a negative 2, negative x squared, and positive x squared, leaving limit as delta x approaches 0 of negative 2x delta x minus delta x squared over delta x. I cancel a delta x, and the end result is going to be negative 2x.